Hello. <clears throat> uh, yes, good introduction, thank you. Uh, I was invited by Ruth uh, to give a presentation, and I don't have a project, but I uh, heard you can give a nice presentation about uh, passion, and I have that for nice things. This is a brick in India that I found. I think it's lovely. Um, yes, it all started with, uh, with graffiti. Uh, this is one of the last things I painted, I think already two years ago. Like I'm not that active, no, not. But um, I'm, I have a really big passion for paint and that grew on the design academy, I think. Uh, if you study design, you of course uh, design a chair. So this is my rolling chair. And during the Design Academy, I had some struggles, like I did graffiti, I did something with letters, maybe I'm a graphic designer. Nah, maybe not. Uh, how to design with letters or how to make uh, traces. This is uh, a pen I made, and I'm, yeah, it's like a concept. It's, uh, it contains uh, ink out of peat, because Holland has a big, big culture of industrial peat harvesting. Uh, we did a project in Veenhuizen, in Drenthe. This is a pen and it's like a really nice gold uh, ink. Uh, yes, so was I, what I was telling about designing and letters and painting, this was a, a bow and arrow that I made to yeah, write something on the wall or something. It's like uh, 2012, I think. Ooh, two microphones. And then in <coughs> 2013, I visited the uh, uh, exhibition about Kashmir Milevich it was uh, uh, in Stedelijk Museum, and I was like, "Whoa, well, what's happening here?" Because it was a really nice uh, overview of his life work, and he ended with this uh, suprematisme, and you see also his coffin in front of this painting, and it really inspired me to my graduation project. This is me as a painter, and this is part of my graduation project. What I did was. Um, dressed up like a professional or semi-professional painter. Young guy, white suit, white van. And I went out to all of Holland with my van and a bike in the back to look like places like this who lost their value and there was some graffiti or the, they use in Holland stupid gray paint. And I did some, um, yeah, I worked on them like this. So I painted over, I think, 40 of these places. And it's like, it's not a private uh, piece of wall, you know, it's all public, but it's not maintained. So I was like, okay, I will do this because of, yeah. <laughs> this is in uh, Tilburg. It's, it's uh, 2013 and still exists today. So I, I think they like it, so I'm really, honored by this he's still up well and after graduation I'd, I graduated in 2014 uh, yeah I really was going into uh, painting and art and whatever and uh, printing techniques this is a uh, aga in Amsterdam it's a graphic workshop and they provide a really nice um, how do you call it artist in residence program where you can stay there for one month I work all night, all day. It's really, really good uh, spirit there. And this was an outcome of it. So this is really serious in the gallery, Gallery Vivid in Rotterdam. This is Maria van Kester. She's like uh, 38 and I was the youngest of the gallery. So we made an exhibition together, but then I came in a serious art design context. Uh, yeah, and for an exhibition, I made this, this is like an installation, and I put this, this in because I wanted to show you, I make marks, I'm not an art painter, I, I, I like to play a lot. This is my duckweed drawing. Uh, yes, this is a recent, a recent project uh, I made last week, like a, a big mixer with a brush. And I really uh, nowadays are interested in history of paint and really industry, the high-end industry with Axel Nobel, for instance. And I tried to combine this. And this is a solo exhibi exhibition I had in Rotterdam, where I was able to do whatever I wanted. So I painted almost everything, I think. 
Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, it's good. Yes. So this is with a, a drill with a brush on it. And I made a big marker, like one meter wide, but yeah. Okay, uh, this is India. I was uh, in October a month in India to do uh, paint research because they have the really lovely Durga Puja festivals where they paint with synthetic pigments and tamarinda paste and they mix it all together and you have stuff like this. This is my house, I paint it, uh, I don't care. It's really nice. There is like a paint shop in every street in India. So I learned a lot from the local uh, yeah, guys there. And I think now I end with a picture of my house. Like you introduced me, like I designed my own life. I think that's what I learned. You can do whatever you want if you do it like full, passionate. Yeah. Oh no, this is like work. <laughs> this is an outcome. This is what a photo of my atelier now. Yeah, it's in, uh, pigments from India. What I try to uh, make a. I don't know what it will become. This is a picture of my house, yes. I built my own house, I started in August, and now since last weekend, uh, yes, I live there. It's a concept, that I live in Den Bosch, it's on Minitopia, I didn't find the name, but it's like a ex experimental place for living. So this was with the frost, and I'm still alive, so it was really a good test. So I made this house of a modular uh, wood system, 60 square feet meter inside. Yeah, I'm really happy, so <laughs> that's really nice. I think this was it. Good. Oh, I have loads of questions. Can I get first? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Um, what, do you, what did you learn from working in the streets? Maybe to take your own space with a, uh, yeah, but not like you can do whatever you want, but see like the, the possibilities. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine that. Um, you were talking about um, India, and I was uh, very surprised by that. Uh, but what do you think um, you learned from India? What did you, you, what, what did you bring back from that, that country? Yeah, I don't know if, ever, if someone has been to India. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> but I did bring back, I, I, bought a, I brought a suitcase full of pigments and weird brushes and rollers and, and know-how about making stuff. So I was really looking for the, yeah, here in the shops everything is really prepared. Like, okay, you can do it. In, if you want to make graffiti, you go to by spray can, and you're a graffiti artist. But there they, I think, what I have seen, people are really like paint, painting, making, uh, recycling, everything. I don't know, it's a complete different lifestyle. It's just one thing. Yeah, maybe. It's, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's, and um, it's I was also wondering when I saw your work in your slides, I was wondering, um, do you think of do you see your work as, as a project with a beginning and an end? Or do you see it more as a process that you're yeah. going through? I think it's a big process. Okay. And I, I maybe put this presentation also that you can see like it is a process. Because uh, mm -hmm. the pen that I showed you was really a project. But all things, what happened after the Design Academy is like ongoing process. And it also feels like it, like it, it's only the start of mm -hmm. something. Okay. Yeah. Are there any more questions? Yes. <laughs> Good question. Um, no, I was in Rotterdam painting somewhere in the harbor area and I was using this bright pink. It was, it was not in the pictures. And I parked my van on, in the middle of the road and I put some uh, paper on the floor and I was really painting with no stress. My heart was like going like, okay, but with a head on it. And um, the police came, <laughs> they stopped and they came back and I was like, oh shit, okay, of course now I've, I'm, ha I'm in trouble. But then uh, I made some, they made a joke like, ha uh -huh. And I made a joke like, back is stupid. Joke, and then they said, "Ah, oh, good luck, bye." <laughs> so it was 
also convincing that it was, oh, yes, it's working or something. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much, Thomas Trum. Thank you.